Hello and welcome to the Microtron video blog. Today I would like to introduce you to the optical options you have with the Microtron high-speed cameras. When you order a Microtron high-speed camera, the standard configuration will be a C-mount which is readily assembled in the front of the camera. Here you can see the two C-mount front plates uh, mounted on Cube and Minis. They are identical. The C-mount of the camera enables you to attach a huge variety of lenses from all kinds of manufacturers. We offer a range of Kova lenses from three different series, which uh, mainly differentiate by the image circle they provide and how fast they are. The Kova XC series, which can be recognized with a golden ring, covers an image circle of four thirds of an inch and will cover all sensors fully. There are two other series available with uh, one inch coverage and two third inch coverage, which can be chosen depending on budget and the setup of the camera. Here you can see a variety of Kova lenses. You just pull off the cover and then you're ready to assemble a lens. After that, you're already uh, prepared to take your first images. Even with a C mount, the lens options may not be sufficient to fit exactly the lens you need. To enable to use your even a wider range of lenses, um, there is an upgrade for F-mount lenses available to all Microtron cameras. It looks like this and can be ordered pre-installed or you can change it on your own. I brought a range of lenses with F-mount to show you. So this would be a standard lens which comes with any normal digital camera. This would be a macro lens which enables you to scale one to one. Uh, and this would be a tailor lens um, to shoot for larger distances. Of course, any kind of zoom lens will also fit to the camera. And to mount these lenses, you simply fit them in the right position into the mount, turn them, and you are ready to shoot. The classic F-mount lenses have a manual iris ring, which will adjust directly the aperture inside the lens to the desired setting. As you can see in this sample image, manual iris rings are no longer present in modern lenses. To be able to access the iris still manually on our cameras, you can get either a C to F mount adapter. The C to F mount adapter with FG mount capabilities offers the same internal lever, external ring to adjust the right position of the aperture. The FG mount upgrade offers a movable ring which can be accessed from outside and it will move a little lever inside the mount to adjust the iris. Simply attach the mount to the camera and with the additional program on your PC you will be able to attach Canon lenses. Here adapter and lens are being recognized by the software. After this is done, the lens will show up in the little program and you are able to control focus over the full range of the lens and you can control the aperture. Here you can see how the iris is moving. Here are the visible effects on the image. And again, a full move through the focus. Watch the shift from the background to the bubbles. So this is how you can attach the right range of Canon lenses. 90% of the lenses at least are compatible with the system and you have a fully remote controlled camera system. These lenses don't have an opening angle, but see always the same field of view, no matter what the distance. So they are perfectly suited for measuring, and I have prepared a small example how this would look like. Here the pen is moved over a distance of 40 cm in front of the lens without changing its size. I set up here a glass of mineral water, 
And with this setup, you will be able to detect and measure the size of the bubbles when they are created and when they are approaching the top, no matter what the depth um, and where they are positioned in the glass. In this video, the bubbles can be measured and compared one to one due to telecentric imaging. Another interesting optical system, usually known as endoscope, and in its rigid version called boroscope, are these things. <coughs> the extension will enable you to enter through small openings into the machine, or in the medicines it would be the body, and to see very small, in very small spaces what you want to see. So the endoscope is mounted straight on the C-mount. We already attached the light guide <coughs> to provide the light uh, together with the optical system up to the front. And you can see here light is emitted and the camera is also looking through that position. No. And if I enter here our little light speaker, we can see through a hole with just two centimeter diameters. And we can watch here with now uh, over 500 frames the vibration of the internals of the loudspeaker. This can be any machine or scientific setup where you don't have any space. So an endoscope will enable you to probe even uh, tight spaces. Thank you very much and please tune in for the next broadcast which will follow soon.